Hey folks, I'm home. I got a little mail call and I found something that I genuinely like to see. Now you guys know that people occasionally send me things and I'll try them. I like them. I don't like them. Whatever. Um, I'm going to have whatever opinion. And then I usually put that on YouTube. And I appreciate the companies that send me stuff and they genuinely don't know what's going to happen. Like ADM sent me a rifle. I appreciate it. They don't know what... They don't know how that's going to go. Um, the Sightmark Optic, the Vortex, like right at, I can't even name them all. There's so many people that have sent stuff, you know, and they, like I said, they don't know what reaction I'm going to have. Now, one of those is Shooters Global. They make uh, shot timers look like this, and they make other models as well that they sent me. Now, they sent out their original model of this, the Shooters Global, their, their training shot timer. I gave them a lot of feedback on it. It wasn't just me, it was other people. But there was a couple of things that were big issues that for me it was just kind of like, all right, I can't use this thing for training for my purposes. Uh, the issues were the magnet is not very strong because this is a two-piece thing with a magnet on it. And then the beep, not loud enough. I couldn't really hear it even. Even in my own training, like not even running a class, I just couldn't really use the thing. Well, now... Oh, my God. Now they've sent me the new version. And what do I like about this? They didn't get ass mad. They didn't stop sending me stuff. Nothing. They didn't have like a negative reaction. They just considered the feedback they got on the product. And now they've they've changed it. So we have, it, this feels different to me. A very strong magnetic pull. I don't believe this thing's going to come off. It's got a little notch in there too. Like I don't think this thing's going to come apart while I'm running. All right. So that's very, very nice. And then, man, that beep is loud. They are not playing around. So this is what I like to see. And they send out the product, they get people's feedback on it, and they just like consider it. And then when they send out a different version of it, it's like, oh, I haven't used this yet for training, but I can tell you just looking at it, it is tangibly different than the last version I saw. And it's in the ways that it was like fundamentally broken, in my opinion, before it appears to be fixed. Now, I want to spend some time with it. I want to shoot it, shoot with it. I want to try it, you know, train with it a little bit. But this is a very promising start. And this is the kind of thing that I like to see. Um, it's kind of like uh, plates I'm running on my Glocks, the, the new plates the, from Arise. I talked to the guy yesterday who's making them, and it was like, he's like, hey, you know, those are testers. Like, have any problems? Hey, let me know. I'm like, cool. Like that's, I appreciate that. That's a, that's a good sort of attitude. And the flip side of this is you guys know the channel viewers, you guys know there's a few companies that really, they don't want people like me using their products and talking about it. Like, do you think that Staccato's happy I have their guns? Do you think uh, SIG is happy that I'm going to shoot their stuff? I really don't think so. So anyway, this is something I like to see. People send it out for feedback. They get the feedback. Then time marches on 18 months later or so. Oh, look at this. There's a new version and it's tangibly changed. I don't know if this one's good to go yet, but I'm eager to find out.